People with even a nodding acquaintance with calculus take it as a given that differentiation and integration are the opposites of each other. This, in fact, is the crux of the first fundamental theorem of calculus. According to this, if you take a function, integrate it, and then differentiate the result, then you'll get back the original function. Why should this be so? Every calculus book has a proof, but let's leave the mathematical rigor aside and understand it intuitively. The integral of a function is the area under the curve of the function. Given that this is so, and that the derivative is the rate of change of a function, we are seeking the rate at which the area under the curve changes with respect to changes in x. To see this, let us consider a point B to the right of A and see how much this changes the area by. When x increased from A to B, that is by B minus A, the area under the curve increased by the area of the shaded region whose height is approximately f of a and width is b minus a. I say the height is approximately f of a because the height is in fact not constant and is different at b than at a. However, if a and b are very very close together, then we can assume that the shaded region is in fact a rectangle with height f of a and width b minus a. The increase in area is therefore f of a times b minus a for a change in x of b minus a. The rate of change of area with respect to x is thus f of a times b minus a divided by b minus a, which is nothing but f of a, the original function's value. That's all there is to it. So we were seeking to find the rate at which the area changes with respect to changes in x. And we found that this was nothing but the value of the function. Another simple way to look at it is, when we increase x by a little bit, a small sliver is added to the area whose width is very small and whose height is the value of the function itself. Thus, the rate at which the area changes with x is nothing but the height, which is the value of the function f. We do hope you found this video useful. Be sure to leave your feedback.